So that that takes me to uh, when you speak on Aaliyah. People really was honed in when you spoke on Dame Dash, Aaliyah. And um, you're speaking on something where you're saying, I wish that situation would be investigated further. No, to be investigated. Period. Period. It was never investigated. Hype was never questioned. Lenny Kravitz made a statement and it was never publicized. She was unconscious. She didn't choose to get on that plane. There were phone calls made. There are witnesses who signed NDAs. Why would you need to sign a non-disclosure agreement about a plane crash and what happened leading up to it? Please, someone, yeah. do, answer that. Do, do you feel like the not- Why the fuck would you need to sign? A nigga don't ask about a plane crash if it was accidental. Yeah. Do, do you feel Riddle like- Riddle me that. Riddle me that. Work with me here in this moment. And I'm going to ask you. A plane crash should be accidental. Should be. Why would any testimony about what happened leading up to it need to be covered under a non-disclosure agreement if there wasn't foul? Play. Now, mind you, September 11th That's happened a week an later. 9-11 happened a week later. Do you think that took away from it? Once again, once again, there are people who did short sales on their stocks right after that, made a lot of fucking money, including Sean Carter. Now I'm going to ask you, why would non-disclosure agreements need to be signed? Or an accident. Mm. Hey. There were over 25 non-disclosure agreements cashed out and recorded regarding the death of that beautiful girl and every other human being that died on that plane with her. What the fuck? Oh. What oh. would you need a nigga don't ask for that? Mm. And Diddy had Hype Williams on the balls. Mm. Belly was a money pick. Without question. Yeah, and Jay Z got 10 free videos out of Williams. And hype didn't work for free. Ugh.